Hi, my name's Dave. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be do, doing some um, demonstrations of um, a bit more of an active demonstration rather than explanation uh, of how the uh, compression wave um, travels through the pipe, delivers a expansion wave and a baffle cone wave from the expansion chamber for port plugging and you'll see I'll, I'll cover all this just you sort of ignore this for the moment but what we've got here is a is a pipe with dimensions calculated based on the exhaust port diameter um, and we can make changes to those I will go into that uh, we can make changes to the midsection we can make changes to here and whatnot but that's sort of uh, not the point at the moment what I want to demonstrate first is um, this uh, as I turn the motor over just watch when it starts when the exhaust port opens here okay you'll see here when the exhaust port opens likewise over here when the exhaust port opens we get a line moving across the exhaust pipe now what this is what this line represents is that the wave reflection point when the compression wave starts at the exhaust opening period here okay so this is actually indicating at what point it will arrive back here so if that's the first uh, change in area then in, we'll get the end the beginning of a reflection at this point in the engine rotation if we keep moving it through you'll see it going through the diffuser section so we're getting a suction wave through here through the first part of the diffuser as we move the engine further over okay so that's the first part of our suction wave coming in then we get our second stage suction wave all right a little bit steeper across bottom dead center there you see it's sweeping across bottom dead center so we're getting suction there and then that's fully open you know over bottom dead center and then we get to the end of that so our suction basically wave expands from here to here in the engine period considering that pipes made to the tuned length suitable for you know 12,000 rpm at that exhaust temperature etc so if we continue on now the wave line moves to here we get another change in area in the pipe in our baffle cone so in this one a decreasing area we get a reflection of the compression wave not an expansion wave so it's it's going back if the first change in area in the pipe is here then this is the reflection point so if the compression wave comes out of the exhaust at this point that is when it will arrive back so that's the beginning of it so we travel down the diffuser and we see that during that period right up to the exhaust closing was the pressure plugging wave that stops the intake spilling out of the exhaust okay before the exhaust shuts and then once we go beyond that then that just indicates that the pistons closed and the the event is finished okay so say when we start exhaust port opens travel through hits the diffuse hits the first diffuser we start getting suction 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 and then we get to there so our suction wave has gone here and then we get to here and we have our reflection of our pressure wave coming back okay, so that just demonstrates that and then that just finishes so you know if we change the the rpm here to a lower rpm we go to 7000 rpm you'll see now that when the exhaust port opens okay we get our diffuser wave our, our expansion wave has has started as soon as our exhaust opened and it's all done before it even gets to bottom dead center all right so that's that, that's that's based on the engine running at 7000 rpm but the pipe's still designed for 12000 rpm so if we get to there and we start our, our pressure plugging wave and it's starting here before bottom dead center which is no good it's too early okay that's why the pipe is tuned to a certain rpm um, for our target peak so now that transfers a little bit high and that's a little bit low for this so that's why we're going to go into a real engine and put some proper figures in there but that just gives you a short demonstration and we've got a lot of different subjects to cover here as i said these port how to interpret these these calculations and the different things about the Blair pipe in 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 general, some um, 
some tips that you you want to take into account um, so I'll go over each of these points in the next video just so you can understand those and we'll do a few more demonstrations to cover a few more principles that I've covered in all of the earlier videos because the information in all the earlier videos is all mostly derived from Blair's works and his um, published uh, engineering papers so to speak he's a professor of engineering who did the most comprehensive study of uh, two-stroke engines ever done so um, yeah that will do it for today and hopefully we'll see you in the next video and if you haven't subscribed yet please do and uh, for everyone who has subscribed thank you very much for your support and bye for now